Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 4T here. Welcome to our Pokemon Gold. Alright, um, so we're in Vermilion City now. Healed up a little bit. We don't have cut yet, so we're not gonna go there. Um as I go here and train, it's a little route. Oh yeah, I said that. Um uh, I don't know what this one is. It could be a youngster, it could be anyone. And it is a youngster. I thought it was a bug catcher. It looks the same as a bug catcher. I was looking at um hi I can another another case. Alright, Cluffable, let's not be useless here. Damn it. Yeah, let's try not to be useless here. Let's try and freaking one more okay. I think I should be able to handle this now, because it's gonna do a good amount of damage. I don't know why I use Lear again and not rap. Yeah, I was kind of surprised not to see a rap there. I was kind of halfway expecting rap to be used at some point. Um, let's go around here. Thanks, someone on this route <laughs> has a growl look. Which would it's really weird to think that a Pokemon like that is actually introduced kind of early in the game, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of bizarre, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. God, it's Sandshrew. Okay, so now I gotta do this now. Dang. I was hoping that'd be a KO. Yeah, they have this should do it, though. Yeah, you're, you're done now. Hey, Cluffable level up! That's good. Okay. Oh, Zubat. I think I'll use, I'm gonna use Butterfree. Butterfree is the lab bug type. And has... Oh, oh yeah, it does actually. Guess I kind of got mixed up there. Screw off, Supersonic. Screw off! Yeah, up yours. Up yours. Up yours, Supersonic. That's what you get. Oh, Butterfree levels up. How convenient as well. Um, so now we got that done. Okay. So now we getting friggin'. Oh, by the way, serious talker now. Props to Britain for leaving the EU. Like. I know people think that globalization and all that's a good thing, but I personally think it's all being done wrong. Like every aspect of it is be is 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 not being done the right way. That's my personal thought on it. It is, yeah, there there's potential there, but it's got to be retooled big time. I also saw something that's like big ups to Britain. The the stand up to people telling you what to do, it's like, yeah, but it, it, it was like, yeah, I'm sure, because America knows how that feels. And it's like, oh, and I was thinking, oh, the subtle revolutionary jab. <laughs> that was a not, that was a, that was a somewhat subtle jab at it. <laughs> which, which, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. So, in a way, it works out, so. I mean, it might be a little rough for him at first, but we d I have my own view of things, and I think the UN is the most corrupt organization on the face of the earth, and it's not even close. Like, I, I don't think there's much debate to it. I mean, it, it is rot- the whole organization, personally, is rotten. But that's how I think of it. It's like, I don't, like- I don't remember who invented it. I think it was one of our presidents, but it easily became to probably to be one of the biggest regrets of his political career. Because personally, I don't think like I understand globalization and whatnot, but it needs to be seriously retooled. Because there are good aspects of it, but at the same time, there are so many not good aspects. So that that's the thing. I, it, it has potential, but it, it, it seriously needs to be retooled. Right, there are so many things that, that have to be changed about it. Like, I get that some people think it's a good idea, and it can be, but it's got to be reworked big time. 
That's my, that's my whole viewpoint on it. it it's got to be redone. Hey, no offense to people who like it, but there are things that have to just be... Globalization is just... It's not working out as, as much as people had hoped. Like, Italy was a thriving country before they joined the EU, and now it's just wrecked. Yeah, things went very bad for him after that. I just don't understand, like, what the kind of thing that those organizations can accomplish. Like, I get the fact that people think that they're good ideas and all, but... I just don't see it. Maybe I'm just not looking at it the way some do, but... I see it as a major hindrance to... Like, a country should be able to make up its own rules and decide for itself what it wants. And it's like every other organization is trying to decide that for us. I think we need to leave NATO too. They're like, it goes back to my thing of like, globalization is a good thing, but it's got to be seriously retooled. Like there, like there, there's so many different ways to do it, but it, it has to be redone. But like, let's be honest there. Let's be 100% honest. It needs a retooling. Like, there are good ideas, but it's got to be fine-tuned. Like, I just don't think that other countries have to pay for the shortcomings of other... And it's just like... The whole... You're, we're seeing why socialism just... Just doesn't work. It just... It, it, every, like, they, that and communism look good on paper. But in all actuality, they don't work out as well as people hope. Venezuela, another example. They were a thriving economy before socialism turned into a giant freaking hellhole. Like, they were a good look. They were doing well, but obviously they got destroyed, and nobody else will acknowledge that socialism is why. It's like, everyone thinks it's a good idea, and it's just, it's not. Where has it succeeded? I can tell you where it succeeded. No. Somewhere between no and where. Oh, right. NOWHERE! It's a failed concept that has failed everywhere it's been tried. It's like communism. It dared turn China into a world power, but at what cost? I'd say somewhere between 80 mil- like 100 million people, I think it was. That's why I'll always view Chairman Mao as the most despicable ruler to ever walk this planet. Like, there was no ruler worse than him. None. There, there's nobody worse than, than Chairman Mao. Such a thing does not exist. Like, Chairman Mao is the worst ruler of all time. And I hear arguments people from me just like, No, oh, but he turned him into such a superpower. It's like... What superpower? Like, yeah, you can say that they actually did... Well, I mean, they, yeah, they, it worked that way, but... Like I said before, at what cost? It cost the American people a lot. It cost the Chinese people almost a hundred million, I think it was. <coughs> it was a hundred million people. And, um... It's failing in North Korea, too. But it's like, um, North Korea basically edits out what they don't want people to find out about them, so... It's kind of hard to take them seriously. I'll say it's hard to take... It's hard to take North Korea seriously. I don't- I'm not scared of North Korea. Like, I'm not. I think they're a bunch of airheads. They say stuff, but... They talk a big game, but freaking Their ruler- that's like- they, That's the difference between Kim Jong-un and his father. His- his father was freaking crazy, but at least Kim Jong-il knew his place. Like, that's the one thing you could never fault him for. That's the one thing you could never fault Kim Jong-il for. Is the dude knew his place? Like, like he knew where he where he sat. He knew where his spot on the totem pole was. That's something his son, his delusional son, just doesn't understand. But so you're about to level up, so yeah. That's the thing. He was batshit crazy, but he knew where his place in this world. He knew where his place was. And he knew when not to cause trouble. And it's just like, that's the thing, is that he's freaking crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. 
But he knew he knows where he stands. So you gotta give him credit for that. He knows where he stands in the world. But that that's the thing, is that he knows where he stands. Like that and it's just like some people is like, yeah, they're crazy, but at least they at least in a way they know their place. They know where everything is. They they know where they stand. The thing is, they know where they belong. And that's what makes like where you can understand. It's like yeah, the dude at least knows where he stands in the world. His, his son should take lessons from his father. That guy. That I think Kim Jong Un is just he's crazy personally. I think he's just as crazy as his dad. But the difference is his dad do his place. He doesn't. That dude needs to be knocked down a few spots on the totem pole. Very quickly. But I don't really think I, that matters that much. But if they did, I don't think they're going to start a war. That's the thing is like, everyone's like, oh, he's going to start a war. He's going to start a war. It's like, nobody's going to start a damn war. It's all, side, they're all cytoflexing. What I mean by cytoflexing is they to like, they like, they make them make their muscles look bigger than they are. Kind of like that, like, somewhat not macho dude. He tries to make himself bigger than he is, but he's not really that big. So that that's kind of how it works. Like, he makes himself more... What's the word? I'm trying to think of the word that describes it perfectly. I know there's a good word for it somewhere. So let's make himself look, I guess, tougher, if you want to call it that. I guess if the word you want to look for is tougher, then yeah. Like, he can make himself look tougher, so... Yeah, if you want to use the word tougher, you're more than welcome to. That That's kind of how it's describing him. Like, it makes him look tougher. But nobody's gonna... That, that's the thing, is that everyone... They, they, you keep saying, oh, this guy's gonna start a war. This guy... Nobody's gonna start a damn war. They're all talk. Everyone's basically just... Just chatting up, like... Like... Like I said, it, they just, they're all talk is, what, is the, basically the point of what I'm trying to get at here. Okay, th well, thank you, Megan, for taking care. So I'm sorry to do all that and just like, but it's just something I had to get off. I guess it just kind of ventured off. Yeah, I was about to say, that, that, that's just kind of something that just kind of just became its own discussion. <laughs> like, I kind of just tailed off it a little bit and just like, oh, okay, we're going to keep going? I'm like, okay. Like I said, like I sometimes I'll like let my like mind like run like run its own course, and sometimes when it gets started, it doesn't stop. So, it that's kind of how it looks. When I looked at it. Um. Oh. Oh shit. This isn't good. Freaking magneton. Damn. I don't think it. Oh, it does. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh, good thing though, magneton is slow as shit. Alright, um, Atkins, yeah, you, go, out there, now. Damn it, I, I, I should have known that wasn't gonna work. Yeah, I should have known that. May as well get him out of the way now. He might actually get us off, get off an attack here. Yeah, let's see, he's in. Oh! I found that to be shocking. Yeah, that, that was kind of a shock, honestly. I didn't expect that. I thought he'd go right for Thundershot. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I know we're playing on an emulator and all, but that, that, that was still kind of disturbing. Thing is, Butterfree not, might not be available for around for much longer, so... Yeah. So that, that, that's what it kind of is. Um, yeah. Alright, Clefable, well, let's friggin' finish this up. This whole route's get, got kind of taken a turn. Oh, no, not Sonic Boom. Are you friggin' kidding me? Not that move again. Um, damn it, that didn't work. Damn it again. <sighs> oh boy, this is not good. This isn't working. This will, this could buy us some time. 
Um. Yeah, this might buy us time. Let's hope it does. I don't know how much time this is going to buy us, but we're going to try and buy it as much as we can. Looks like it's doing a good job thus far. Okay. Um, no. let's, see, let's not let that happen again. Yeah, you're down. You you stay there. Um, oh crap. I better go freaking heal up. I think that might be it, though. There might be one last trainer. It's down there, but I'm not gonna go battle. That's probably not a good idea to battle him. He's right here, so. With that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on more Pokemon Red.